but she has shown such a pattern of self-destruction. It seems from those close to her that she's just re-emerged in that same, that same pattern. Do you see a difference this time around than what led to her being placed under the conservatorship in the first place? None whatsoever. It really feels like the worst case of deja vu from her awful picker in choosing men. This new boyfriend of hers is somebody that's had many run-ins with the law uh, and, according to reports, has around 10 children and is a uh, not very present and financially stand-up father uh, to you know the reports from this week of her abusing drugs. It's sad, but I still don't think a conservatorship is the solution. I have a theory of something that I think could hopefully work, but it's asking a lot of young men. Brittany is estranged from her whole family, everyone, including her sons. But I do think if her two sons, one is 18, the other one is gonna turn 18 very soon, if they moved back or if she moved to Hawaii where they're currently living, I really think her kids can help her get to a stable and healthier place. That's a really good point. I often think of that, Perez. The boys are 18 and 17. And the reason I think of it a lot is because they were born the exact same times that my kids were born. I have an 18 and a 17 year old. And I thought about, were, would they potentially be great legal guardians for her. It's awfully young. Um, and yeah. the fact that they haven't lived with her for a long time and have probably a lot of resentment, I almost hearken to the Wendy Williams story where there's plenty of accusations that maybe even Wendy's son might have been the reason that, that she needed a conservatorship. We just don't know. Does that ever sort of factor in for you as well? The fact that they, they really don't even know her very well anymore. They've, they've grown up kind of without her. Well, the, the maternal figure in their life is Kevin Federline's wife, his uh, wife of many years, who is their stepmother. Um, I, I echo your concerns. However, she's currently surrounded by enablers and employees. Every single person right now in her life, in some way, is financially connected to her. I don't believe I'm not told that she has real friends and even her real friends like Paris Hilton, because of who she is, her A-list stature, her icon level of celebrity, they're afraid of giving her tough love because they don't want to be cut out from her life. She needs her sons or at least her mother or her sister. She needs family. And yeah. it's so unfortunate that there's that a along. major estrangement. Yeah. Yeah, I, f I felt that way all along, that, that she needs the family and, you know, whatever happened between them, uh, it was proven in a court of law that Jamie Spears was not siphoning money away illegally. He was literally paying for an extraordinarily expensive legal setup to protect her, you know, from herself. And I have this grave fear that those who are sycophantically around her um, may very well fuel and funnel all sorts of drugs her way and maybe even cajole her into changing her, her, her will to leave them with everything that's left over. And that's sort of one of the reasons I, I go towards the conservatorship route because sometimes people aren't just there to have the fun that comes along with being with a celebrity. They're there literally to take over that celebrity and then hope that the celebrity goes away. Do you have any fear that that's I, look, I'm not casting that aspersion on Paul Richard Solis, the felon who is allegedly running her life, but I, but I just go to that place. Ashley, you're saying things that I have also said. I, I, I literally verbalize that the boyfriend is probably trying to get Britney Spears pregnant, and Britney is probably happily trying to get pregnant as well. I, she has said herself that she's wanted to have more children. She was pregnant with Sam Asghari, her ex-husband, but suffered a miscarriage. And I don't think having another child right now in her current state is the solution or would be a positive for Britney Spears. Oh, dear Jesus, boy, oh, boy, uh, your lips to, to God's ear. Um, I mean, a, a woman like this uh, has no business having um, a, a newborn around at this point, not until things are stabilized, if they will be ever. Pres Hilton, thank you. Thank you for watching.
Go to newsnationnow.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.